Hi there, welcome to the new release of Stendhal 0.99. If you haven't played Stendhal before, then it's a free open source game which is available at stendhalgame.org. But in this video, I'm just going to show you the changes in the latest release. The first of the changes is really quick to see here in the city. We've got new lighting so that at night time, when it's past um, 10 o'clock at the server time and it starts to get really dark, you can see these beautiful lights lighting up the city. Coloured lights here, um, I don't know if you can see it, but this door is slightly yellow um, and pretty um, lamplight are being cast on the ground. Um, I can just jump to another place that's got nice lights as well. Uh, here you can see near this character we've put some lamps and there's some other ones at the start of the um, fields and all over in, um, in Fado Market there's some really nice lights, sorry not Fado Market, Cardano Market, there. So um, the light, the the night and the day was a new feature in the previous release, but we didn't have so many of these lamp lights available. And I just think they look really pretty, so I wanted to show you. And I was just um, teleporting around um, using the NPC names, because um, my admin character can do that for the purposes just of this video here. All right, so those lights are really pretty. Another new feature is that you can actually take a picture of something that you find pretty by using this take screenshot function. Um, of course, you can still use print screen on your laptop too, but it just makes things um, quick and easy for you to take screenshots if you see interesting things in the game. Okay, what else is new? Well, quite a few of the outfits got special new um, details on them. Uh, you can change your outfit like this just going to put one on. I was wearing a special outfit before. But there's a few outfits that have got extra detail on the hair or extra detail on the dresses. More depth now that you can change the colour. We found that you also wanted more depth and also some outfits looked very similar until... Um, sorry, well some outfits were were basically the same except they were different colours. <laughs> now that you can choose the colour, the outfits looked um, the same. So, for example, this dress, there's now a short-sleeved and a long-sleeved version, because otherwise it just looked the same. But I'm just going to close that so I can go back to the outfit I was in before. Great, okay. Um, another exciting new feature is a new NPC. Again, you wouldn't normally just be able to teleport straight to him, but for the purposes of this video, I'm going to do that. Here's this awesome guy, Marie Henry. I'm not quite sure how to pronounce his name. I think he's French and you can have a chat with him. I'm not going to ruin the surprise of what actually happens when you start talking to him, but for the moment I'm just going to say hi and bye. And I might just take a quick look at this book on the table. Very interesting. This Wikipedian guy is also interesting, but he's been around for a few more releases. Do come into the game and start asking Wikipedians some questions though, because he's really interesting. Okay, now, some of the other new features are around um, reports and requests that we noticed that would basically make people's game life more pleasant. I'm going to demonstrate by jumping to a character that I've left in a field. Great. Now, first of all, I just need to set up and explain something here. In the game, it's perfectly within the rules to attack another player character, another real person. Of course, you can always attack creatures and so on as well. However, um, there are some areas which are protected and you can't do attack at all, or there are unprotected areas, and at the moment we're in an unprotected area. However, in order to make things fair, it's forbidden to attack another player if their level was much, much lower than your own, and so it wouldn't be a fair fight. Now, in the previous version of the rules, it was only level that was checked, and... Neve here is level 11 and I'm level 8, so I would have been allowed to attack her. However, for this video I've made my attack and defence very high. And it's an extreme example, but what I want to demonstrate is that using level alone wasn't enough. Because if I did attack Neve with these very high attack and defence stats, it wouldn't be a fair fight at all. Now if you're not sure what I'm talking about with the stats, there is a separate YouTube video on them, so do have a look at it. Anyway, so in the new version, if I do try to attack Neve, 
I'm not allowed. It says my conscience would trouble me. And that is basically because that seems fairer to do a check on your skill stats as well as your level stats before deciding how strong you are. Okay, um, Neve on the other hand could attack me. She's got a lot lower skills and then I could attack her back in self-defense. All right, now another one um, to show you is a change around um, what happens when you might be blocked in by another player. Hmm, where I'm stood here isn't a great example because Neve's right in the middle of nowhere. Okay, I'm just gonna run over here with her. Right, you walk over there. I've just switched to another client so that I can show you this. And then I'm going to explain the new feature. Now what it was, was that um, players can be pushed. So if they stand in front of you, um, you can get them out of your way. Great. Uh, creatures can also be pushed. I'm just going to show you an example. Push. So I've just moved that right out of the way. Great. Now I'm going to come back over here with Super Kim. Sorry, I just jumped there. I hope that's okay. Now Super Kim is blocking in Neve. I've just jumped back to Neve. But Neve can push her away. Okay? However, if Super Kim did have an item underneath her, probably her own item normally, in the past, that would mean that Neve couldn't push her anymore because we wanted the item to stay safe that was under the player. It was a problem because players were getting trapped in and at the moment Neve's trapped and she can't get out unless she kills that rat. Now when she tries to push the other character the item goes with her. So that item is still there under Super Kim. Um, Neve can't get it but she was able to get free and get out. Okay, so I hope that makes sense. Um, that's all I'm going to show you now from the new changes in Stentor 0.99. There are a few more, um, and if you want to read about them, then just go to the Ariane website or our game website and you'll click on the link, and then you can read about the changes here, and you can also read a full list of changes in our complete change log here. There you are. So the ones that I've introduced to you are that there are many more outside zones with lighting. I have explained the pushing of players with items under them. I mentioned the outfit improvements. I mentioned the player strength calculation. And I mentioned the menu item for taking screenshots and the coloured light in the doorways. I also showed you the Marie Henry NPC in Ados Library. But that was all. Do feel free to log in from sendorgame.org and tell us what you think of the changes. Thanks very much. Good night.